Randy, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Portland. Today, I'm going to show you how you can fix the error unable to locate credentials when you try to connect to your Amazon Simple Storage Service Bucket using the AWS command line interface. Let's get started. The error unable to locate credentials tells us that S3 can't find the credentials needed to authenticate the API call that was made. To resolve this issue, we'll verify that our AWS credentials are correctly configured in the AWS CLI. First, let's make sure we are using the most current version of the AWS CLI. In your shell program of choice, use the command AWS dash dash version. This displays the currently installed version. Compare this with the most recent release shown in the AWS CLI change log. If the installed version doesn't match the current release, then update the installation before continuing. Now that we have verified that we are on the most current version of the AWS CLI, let's continue. From the command shell, check if the AWS CLI is configured with any credentials using the command AWS configure list. If your credentials are configured in the config file, you'll see a result that looks like this. If your credentials are configured in an instance profile, then you'll see a result that looks like this. Now, we are going to review the response to the configure list command to look for any missing or incorrect credentials. In this example, we see that no credentials are configured. We have found the cause of our original error. To correct this, let's add our credentials to the AWS CLI configuration. The easiest option is to use the built-in tool, AWS Configure. From the CLI, enter the command AWS Configure. A wizard opens that steps you through the process to configure a set of AWS Identity and Access Management credentials in the AWS CLI. Enter your access key ID. Enter your secret access key. Enter your preferred default region. Enter your preferred output format. Great. Now let's verify that our credentials are updated by rerunning the configure list command. As you can see, the credentials we entered are now listed. As a final test, let's run an S3 command with the credentials that we configured. Our S3 call now completes with no errors. Keep in mind that the AWS CLI invokes credential providers in the order shown. The AWS CLI attempts to find credentials starting at the top of the list and continues through each provider until credentials are returned or the list is complete. This means that if you have configured the credentials incorrectly on a provider at the top of the list, but correctly on a provider lower on the list, you will still get the error unable to locate credentials. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.